subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos hi friend this is mandeep and you are watching high technology tv in this video i will show you how to install a multi host system in sap hana so right now we have two system one of them is uh, 172.35.0.128 and second one is 172.35.0.253 so prerequisite to install a multi host system is to that we do have a nfs and that is mounted on both our system and read write permission for them but uh, fencing uh, will be also done you can read about it on the link provided by me in the description box so let me show you first of all here you can see that this is our network file system that is mounted on slash hana and this is mounted on our this system 253 and let's check to our second system and here you can check that this is also mounted on our second system and it is mounted on slash on on both the system so let's begin with the installation so here in this video i am installing it with the gui so let's start the installation Okay, so this will open this particular window, and now this is the detected software component by our GUI, as DB LCM GUI. So click on Next, and here by default install new system is checked. So click Next, and here we are just going to install SAP HANA database client version. I'm um, unchecking the. hana xx advanced runtime version and just click on next and here choose system type we are going to choose multiple host system so here first we have to define the root password then the installation path this is our installation path that is slash hana slash save and here we have an option of add host so click on that and here we have to define the our second host that is and by default the role is database worker so i am going to define it as standby in our multi host system we have two roles one of them is worker and second one is standby worker has functionality to process all the data and standby do not process any data so when our worker is down then our standby is work as a worker so this is our worker group and this is our high availability group by default these are as default so click okay and this is our secondary system that is defined as standby so click next and here we have to define the sap hana system id so here i am defining it sem and this is our instance number this is our local host worker group that is by default as default and system is used is custom so i am not going to restrict any memory here and restart system after machine reboot i am not checking them so click next these our data volumes location and this is our log volume location so click next and this is our certificate host prerequisite this is our second secondary standby system and this is our primary worker system so click next and here we have to 
enter the password for our SID ADM. So this is system user ID, this is our login cell and home directory, click next. Here we have to enter the system database user password. So define it and click next. This is the summary and now click on install. So it is going to install our multi host system and it is going to take a few minutes to install sometime it will take hours so let's wait for it
ओके फ्रेंड्स सो एज यू कैन सी दैट आवर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ मल्टी होस्ट एस ए पी हाना सिस्टम इज सक्सेसफुल सो नाउ लेट सी द लॉक फाइल एंड हियर यू कैन चेक ऑल द लॉक फाइल दैट वैन वी स्टार्टिड आवर इंस्टॉलेशन वट आर द कम्पोनेंट दैट वी हैव चूजन एंड वट आर द वेयर इज द इंस्टॉलेशन इज डन ऑल दैट थिंग इज मैंशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लॉक फाइल you can also check it in expert view so now th close it and thank you for watching please like share subscribe my channel have a nice day